Hey guys, today I'm gonna be making another vlog and I'm gonna be showing you what a typical weekend looks like for me. I'm pretty excited because the weekends are something that I always enjoy and this is something that I always look forward to, especially after a long week at the hospital. It's already 8 or 6 a.m. I got up at 7 a.m. to meditate and do a bit of journaling. And I gotta rush right now if I want to make it for my training at 8.30. So I'll catch you then. Good morning. So I want to give you an update on medical school and how things are going because it's been a while since I did one of these vlogs. If you're new to the channel, my name is Kaushik and I'm a fourth year medical student at the National University of Singapore. Fourth year is supposedly the chill year in between the third and fifth years, which are the intense ones. But honestly, I'm actually finding it pretty difficult. I've already completed three short postings and I'm doing my fourth one, which is obstetrics and gynecology right now and it's only been eight weeks. It's really been a roller coaster journey and I haven't really had the time to slow down and think about how things are going in the postings. But yeah, surprise, surprise, med school is tough. Who would have thought, right? Anyways, I'm doing my ONG posting right now at KK Hospital, which is the hospital at which almost half of all the babies in Singapore are born. It's the hospital at which I still remember seeing my sister for the very first time. And going back to do my posting over here really brings back a lot of fond memories even though the last time I was here was over 16 years ago. It's been a pretty meaningful posting thus far because I've been able to assist in delivering a few babies and that's really really so special. And my respect for mothers and women has never been higher and guys if you're watching this worship your mothers. Anyways this morning I have free diving land training so I'm going to be doing some intervals and core exercises. Free diving is a spot that I picked up in the past year and it's been one of the best things to happen to me during the COVID pandemic. Bye! Bye. Standard training, we did 100 pull-ups followed by some corner meter intervals and some ab exercises, so I'm pretty sweaty now. I'm gonna get to uh, take a quick shower before going for my brunch, so I'll catch you then. really crazy hot today. I'm gonna be heading back home, taking a quick shower and start my work. I was having a tofu salad with my protein shake for lunch and I was catching the later season of La Casa de Papel. After lunch, it was time to get started with work and I really had a lot of stuff to catch up on from the week before. I've got a couple of things I want to do today. One is to finish reading up my notes on cervical cancer. Then I have to make my Anki cards for the week that just passed by. And then I have to finish four Pomodoro cycles of studying. So during the week when I'm in the clinic or in the wards, I take down my notes and usually write down the important stuff uh, that I might need for the future. And during the weekends, that's when I consolidate uh, the notes and stuff. And from there, I make my Anki flashcards. I don't make notes and surely I don't read textbooks. Instead, the two tools I mainly use are Emboss and Anki. Now in third year, I really wasn't very consistent in reviewing my Anki decks to practice my active recall, space repetition and etc. 
because I was still figuring out my footing in the clinical rotations, but this year I hope to be a lot more consistent. Alright, so that was the fourth Anki session for today. Uh, each session is 25 minutes. I use the Pomodoro clock. So now I'm a bit tired and I'm gonna take a nap before I go to the gym. So I'll see you later. One nap later. I go to the gym four times a week. The first three days are for compound exercises. And the last day is for me to finish up the accessory groups like my calves, arms, and upper back. On the way home, I head to the supermarket to buy what I need to make dinner later. Today I'm going to be cooking truffle impossible burgers for my family. I just had my dinner and took a hot shower after that. And I feel really good right now because it's been a pretty long day and I'm really very tired right now. So I'm just gonna read my book and try to fall asleep because I gotta wake up early again tomorrow. So yeah, that's Saturday and I'll catch you guys in a bit on Sunday. Good morning guys. It's about 6.30 now. I just got up and I still feel a bit groggy. But yeah, I gotta do a couple of stuff before leaving the house. What's up guys? So yeah, it's a beautiful morning and I love being in nature. So as you can see, this place has nobody and I'm usually the only one over here. I like coming over here to practice Shinrin Yoku, which is uh, forest bathing in Japanese. And I feel like it's so damn important because throughout the week, we spend our time in the city and our body gets charged with a lot of negative ions and negativity so doing this forest bathing helps me to relax helps me to calm down and get myself into a better state of mind and it also gives me the much needed alone time going into nature and doing the things that I love I very much love spending time in nature and being away from the city. But yeah, Shinrin Yoku is something that I would really encourage everyone to do at least once a week. Uh, it purifies your body, your mind and your soul. So what's there not to love, right? So I know in Singapore it's quite hard to find the time or place to do forest bathing but I'm sure all of us can find at least a couple of hours in our busy, busy schedule. And there are loads of places where you can be truly alone like this where you can hear the waterfalls behind me. So there are two books that I've read recently that really changed my relationship with nature. One of them is Overstory. It's a story of how five trees relate to some humans and it's about the destruction of trees and what it causes uh, to our ecosystem. It's an amazing novel that I would really recommend to everyone. It's one of those books that I think everyone should check out at least once in their life. And the second book is The Secret Life of Trees. Although I've been pretty close to nature all throughout my life, I never quite understood the intricate relationships that humans and trees share and also the relationships that plants have with one another. Mm. Mm. So I just got back, took a shower and made myself a peanut butter sandwich. And now I'm going to start editing this video. So on Sundays, that's the day I usually dedicate to making YouTube videos. So the whole of today I don't have anything else other than editing the video and publishing it. So I don't have editing or videography background and truth be told, starting my own YouTube channel 
was just one of those impulsive things that I do. So I told myself I'll try to improve my videos 1% every week and hopefully down the line I'll have something to be proud of. Every week I try to learn something new and implement that in my videos and this week I've learned the feature of a J cut. So if you're gonna see a J cut in this video, you'll know. So if you've been following this channel and have been watching the videos, you can see the progress from I don't know, using my iPhone to shoot a video right till now when I can stitch together a video somewhat. This YouTube journey has been really rewarding and four months ago I would have never imagined that I would have a thousand subscribers now and the progress that I've made over the past four months has been really awesome to see to be honest. If you're new here, subscribe to the channel and join us on this journey to see where consistent 1% improvements can take us. It's still very early days on this channel and I haven't narrowed down the niche for what kind of videos I want to make. So if you have any suggestions, I'd love to hear from you. Drop them down in the comments below or you can reach out to me on Instagram or Twitter. Okay, I gotta get back to editing the video that you're watching right now. I know it sounds a bit like Inception, but yeah. Until next week, peace.